Welcome to subnetting video number seven. This is going to be on IP address classes. Now, when we talk about classes, let's kind of explain what we mean by that. Classes are a way of dividing the IP address space, everything from 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255 into chunks for the purpose of handing them out to various organizations. And as I put here on this slide, it has some historical roots. You see, early on in the internet, uh, we didn't know that it was going to go public. We didn't know that everybody and their brother needed you know, five IP addresses. At the time, uh, the government and large universities and, uh, and maybe early on some very large companies, IBM and other large companies, might need uh, some some addresses and so uh, the uh, powers that be sort of handed out these chunks and they would give a really large organization a class a set of addresses or a class a network and a class b network for smaller organizations and class c network for even smaller organizations and uh, that's how they divided it up uh, now remember at the time uh, computers were not something you just set on a desk somewhere uh, they were primarily mainframes, large computers, so there wouldn't be a lot of computers. So, for example, if you gave a university a Class C network, uh, which only has you know 256 possible hosts, actually 254, but we'll get into that later, um, that would be plenty. I mean, they probably only had one or two computers, and so they didn't need a, a large address space like we would need today where everybody has... Uh, you know, five different IP addresses. So it does have historical roots, but let's look and see how it's divided up and, and uh, how we use it. Class A addresses are any address that begins, oops, how did I do that? Class A addresses are any address that begins with 0 through 127 in the first octet. So uh, you, can, you can say then that the leading bit is always 0 because if you think about it, this zero here, <clears throat> excuse me, this zero here in this first position, remember that this is the 128th position. There's the 1s, 2s, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. This is the 128th position. If I put a 1 in this position, I'm in 128. I'm outside of this range. So it would have to have a leading bit of zero. Now, just by definition, we say that a class A address will always have a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. This means that this first uh, number here is going to be the network ID. So one company might have network ID of 1, another company might have a network ID of 2, another company might have a network ID of 3, and so forth with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. That means that they have 256 times 256 times 256 hosts, pos possible hosts. So you can see they have a very large address space for a, a large number of hosts. And this might go to a, a government agency or a military agency or a very large international company that would need a whole lot of hosts in the, in the uh, millions of hosts. So uh, <clears throat> that's how we define one. Here's just an example, 16.21.200.42. Notice that 16 is, is inside of this range. And um, the subnet mask, of course, is going to be 255.0.0.0, meaning, meaning that this portion is the host ID. And here's what it looks like in binary with that leading zero here. Let's look at a class B address then. A class B address is anything from 128 to 1. 91 and the leading bits 1 0 and you can see why because remember this one represents 128 and so it, this one would have to be a one uh, and by definition we say that the subnet mask is 255 255 0 0 so that this portion the 191 or the whatever number you have here and the first x are going to be uh, network addresses and then these two are going to be uh, host addresses or host ID. this is the host ID so the host ID 
uh, here, you would have what 16,000 something host uh, I, host addresses possible on a network like this, because all of this would be given to a large number of medium range um, size uh, organizations and uh, it would always begin with a one zero so here's an example 170 you notice 170 is somewhere inside of this range 16 now remember 16 here's part of the the uh, network id because i have 255 25500 so uh, 170.16 is the network id here and then my host id in this example is 201.27 let's look at a class c address 192 to 223 and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 again by definition if it's going to be in this range it's going to begin with a 110 any other number would not give me a number within that range so it has to be a 110 at the beginning of the binary and notice again here the subnet mask has 355s in it so the first three sections of these are host. So here we have a host ID of 195.150.140. And, excuse me, did I say host? Uh, network. Network ID of 195.150.140 uh, and a host ID of 130 in this particular example. There is a class D. However, the subnet mask is undefined for class D, but anything that begins with 224 to 239 is considered a class D address. We use these, by the way, for multicast traffic. And multicast traffic means that I can send one message to a large number of other computers with a single transmission. How that works, you'll understand in another course. If you go on to take some CCNA or other networking courses, you'll under you'll get into uh, multicast traffic. We really won't use it much in this class, uh, but the leading bits, in order to be in this range, the leading bits have to be one 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 zero. So here's my example: two twenty eight dot one fifty two dot one forty two dot seven, and as long as this leading number here is starts with 1110 or in other words one of these numbers then uh, then we would call that a class D address now whatever subnet mask I give it so be it it's undefined I don't have to be tied down to a certain subnet mask for a class D then we have a class E address anything from 240 onward or upward maybe I should say again without uh, defining the subnet mask Leading zero one 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 will make it this range. Uh, so that's uh, anything with that beginning uh, binary set one 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 is automatically a class E. Uh, these will, are not handed out to uh, to anybody on the internet, and they they will never be handed out to anybody on the internet. These are reserved for experimentation and. Uh, uh, so forth so that they can use it in the future or perhaps but uh, the way that we've defined IP version 4 we have never used it and we are now trans uh, we are now converting to IP version 6 but all the routers uh, in and switches in the world are set up not to allow anything uh, not to allow these for transport of uh, uh, of IP addresses so we cannot use them without just replacing all the hardware that we have so these will not be used uh, at any time in the future interestingly enough by the way if we were to look at all these addresses and this is by number of hosts uh, you can see that class A uh, I can have a whole bunch class B not quite as half as many class C half as many as that class D half as many class E half as many as that so this from this portion here, A, B, and C are really all that we're going to be working with in this course. By the way, if, if you have a hard time remembering where those breaking points are, it's easy to derive it. And that's because if you remember adding up ones from here, in other words, this is the 128 bit, right? So anything from 0 to 127 that ends before that, if this is a 0, is going to be a class A. Uh, and then if I add 1 and 1, if I add 128 plus 64, 
I get 192. Now eventually in this class you will need to know 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, 252, 254, 255. You might as well get used to memorizing those now because you will be needing that. But um, <clears throat> at any rate, uh, if you look at this cutoff point, 192, well, look at this. From 128 to 191 is the Class B section. 224 is the, is the next one. If I add uh, 128 plus 64 plus 32, I get 224. And look at that. It, it stops right here at the 223 mark just before this one turns on. And then uh, up here, the Class D goes from 224 to 239. And again, it ends right here just in front of this 240. So that's you can if you forget these ranges, you don't have to memorize these ranges. You can derive these ranges by knowing this set of uh, numbers, 128, 192, 224, 240 then you could, just with that much, you could derive what all the classes are. All right, here's the summary then, class A, 0 to 127 in the first octet, with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. Class B, 128 to 199, 255, 225, 0, 0. Class C, 192 to 223, 255, 225, 225, 0. And then we will not be working with class D and E much, but class D is used for multicast uh, and uh, and you might uh, you might be able to have to identify a class D um, uh, IP address for one of the worksheets or for a quiz. But after that, we will not be using them in this class for subnetting proper. And then class E is anything else, and it's just undefined and used uh, <clears throat> only for experimental purposes. Well, that's it uh, for this for this video and the next video we're going to talk about something called the default subnet mask and we'll see you in uh, that video